So in this problem, what we have is uh, two masses attached by a string. Uh, one mass is sitting on a table. We're going to have a pulley here. The string's going to go around the pulley, and we're going to have this mass uh, off the edge of the table. And we're just going to let it go. So this mass is going to start to fall, and this mass is going to go this way. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out the acceleration of the system, derive an equation with using just the variables that are provided. So the first thing we're going to do, as usual, is to draw our free body diagram. So let's do that on each mass individually. So this mass is going to have a force down of gravity, so we can call that Fg1. Then there's going to be a tension in the string pulling up, call that T. Now one of the things to think about is kind of the relative sizes, magnitudes of these. So since this is going to go down, then we should actually make this a slightly larger vector than the tension. We're going to now do that same thing on this one. So this there's going to be a tension going to the right, call that T. And then there's going to be a friction coming back, call that friction. Then we have our usual normal force from the table, and this would be Fg2. So that should be your first step, as always. The next thing we're going to do is um, do our summation equations. Now with these problems, one thing you do need to do is define the, du the direction of the acceleration. And we're going to define that to be our positive direction. So for example, the system's going to move this way, so the acceleration to the right of this one, we're going to define positive, and the acceleration on this side, we're going to define to be positive. So it's a little bit different than um, a lot of times, for example, where acceleration will say up is positive, but because it's moving downwards, we want both of them to have the same positive acceleration uh, based on the direction of motion. So let's do our summation. So we're going to do a summation for each of the masses. Let's go ahead and do mass 1. So we're going to do our summation. So notice there's only one summation we have to worry about. And again, we're going to make our Fg1 positive going down. We're going to subtract out the tension coming up. And we'll set that equal to Ma. This is going to be mass 1 here, so just make sure you subscript that correctly. Over here on these masses, on this mass over here, we'll go sum of F2. So this is going to be uh, tension. Now this time to the right, we're going to call positive, minus friction. And this should be equal to M2A. So that's going to be our, that's our X summation. There is a Y summation as well. Hopefully you can see just based on the picture that the normal force is just going to equal FG2. Or normal will just be M2G. Okay, that would be our Y summation right here. So then what we're going to do, we're just going to start solving. So we have acceleration in both sides. What I'm going to do is go ahead and solve for the tension on this side. So we're going to say tension equals m2a plus friction and then we're going to go ahead and substitute in this tension up here so we're going to have fg1 minus and then we're going to make the substitution so that's going to be m2a minus friction equals m1a uh, and then let's go ahead and make some substitutions. So uh, FGs, we're simply just going to be MGs. Friction, remember, is mu times F normal. Put our F normals right here. So we're just going to make friction equal to mu times M2G. And we'll make that substitution. And then FG1, I'll just call MG1 or M1G. So we got M1G minus M2A minus, let's make that sub, so it's going to be mu M2G equals M1A. And then at this point we're just going to kind of finish up the algebra. We're going to solve for, uh, we're going to 
get A on both sides, so let's add M2A to both sides. That's going to get us A, uh, M1A plus M2A. Okay, and that equals, what does that equal? M1G minus mu M2G. And then factor out the A, that's M1 plus M2. And we'll divide by that sum. So M1G minus mu M2G divided by M1 plus M2. Okay, and there's our acceleration. So notice conceptually what's going on. We have our M1G, that's our weight of this one, pulling down. And then over here, we have friction. This was our friction piece here. So this we're subtracting friction on this side. And then we're going to just divide by both M1 and M2, the sum of those two, since they're moving together as a system. All right.